more than 70,000 young people who are seeking their degrees and so many who've gone before them, they all share a deep-seated sense of tradition and reverence for this sacred soil called Texas A&M. If I'm telling you to do something and they're yelling at you to do something else, it behooves you to listen to me because that's going to get us out of here much faster, right? I didn't do it traditionally. I didn't go to school to be a photographer. If I ever see anything wrong today, tomorrow, in three weeks or three years, I'm going to walk up to square you away. I grew up knowing it, and it worked. It clicked. Jennifer Hickel Carpenter has lost count of how many times she's corralled a group of A&M Corps of Cadets members just for a photograph. So Y'all make sure if you've got anything in your front pocket, you take it out and put it in your back pocket for me if you can. Working with her husband, John, it's up to them to make sure every tiny detail from the uniform to the mascot is perfect. Jennifer is familiar with tradition. Her dad barked these same orders at this same spot for decades. He started the photography studio in 77. He named it AR Photography, and it's been going since 77. He did all kinds of photography always, but the core was his love. So we shot anything uh, from dances to engagements, weddings, the yearbook. It's the biggest yearbook in the, in the nation, I think, still. Um, and so he did all the headshots for the Aggieland and, and pictures in there. Okay, everybody looking straight ahead down the street, no smiling. I started in 82, but in 86, 87, my senior year in high school is when I became a full-time employee. They needed me, and so he was getting ready to retire, and I stepped up and said, I'll, I'll do it. And so phew, here we are 37 years later, and I'm still doing it. How did you fit into all of this in the beginning? Uh, mostly hauling things, uh, hauling negatives, hauling camera equipment. I'm more the sidekick, and I'm fine with that. Um, she's 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 the special one. The kids love her, so we have just kind of become a team. All right, so dang, I want you to go this way. You know, there's 2,100 kids in the core. I shoot at least four to five headshots of each kid and then there's 41 outfits in the core this year and we shoot 10 to 12 pictures at outfit pictures and then you know you add in the dances and so forth i'm taking tens of thousands of pictures each year that i have to then go back and and work on do you think about your dad every day and my mother they worked side by side for all those years and i think about him every day how would dad have done this would he have done this this way um how would he handle this situation? Where's your saber? Go ahead and grab your saber. Sanders Corps of Cadets Center, and it's a museum that is on campus. They have a library, which I have kind of taken over the library for a couple of years now to shoot their pictures. It's, it's across the street from where they live, so it's easy for them to just pick up their uniform and come over and, and have their pictures taken. Lean that saber back, nice glare on the saber. Will Whitaker is here for his boot sitting, a privilege shared only by seniors. And like her dad before her, Jen is a stickler for details. Just stay like that, perfect. Boot sittings were a thing back in the day. So the boot sitting from 77 is the same boot sitting you're gonna get today. So if my dad shot your dad and now I'm shooting you, it's same carpet, same drapes, same furniture. Uh, same flags from 1977. The seniors are the only ones that get to wear senior boots. It is the culmination of their college career in a sh one photo. There you go. Yeah, that one's going to look just like your dad. Perfect. Occasionally, somebody will call in and say, hey, listen, I'd really like a picture of me and my father together in the same photo. And so I take the photos and I put them together. And it really is neat how they look alike. They're in the same uniform. These are the Lovitz. Uh, this is the father. This is the son. And I believe he was uh, graduated in the 80s. His son, Scott, graduated 19, I believe. So we put them in the same picture together. But there's 30 plus years of difference between the photos. They look exactly like they were there taken at the same time. Uh, it's the same age but 30 years apart. Her dad took these pictures of your dad. It's cool to see that, you know, 
her dad sh- sh- took pictures of my dad, and now she's taking pictures of me. And every time we get together, we take a picture and send it to my parents. It's pretty cool. I think your mom's going to be really happy about these. I'm really, thank you for coming in. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thanks for taking my photo. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. All right. You be good. Have a great day. I will. I'll do my best. We are as Aggie as Aggie can be. I think it's the tradition, uh, the respect. I wear my dad's Aggie ring. He left it to me in, in uh, sorry. When he passed away, he left that to me. Um, and it's just been that way ever since, it's, since I was a kid. He worked hard to get it, right? And, um, and I realized how hard these kids work to get this. This ring of gold is very important. It's a connection to every Aggie past and, and present. So we're gonna put Reveille right here. They are the backbone of the traditions of a &M. When you go to attention, split the difference. Don't go all to one side. For the cadets at Texas A&M, their four years here are driven by an intense dedication to tradition. It's what Jennifer Carpenter's dad worked so hard to preserve many years ago. And now this lady with a camera has become a huge part of the core experience, images and memories that will last forever. Hopefully they feel as attached to John and I as we feel attached to them.